Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So, uh, quick Saturday update. So many projects around the workshop here, I really didn't know what to do with myself, so I decided I'd concentrate on the South Bend 13. Uh, I had taken this apart, did some work to the carriage. Um, wanted to go ahead and work on the dials. Uh, I have an indirect and a direct reading dial. Whoever had this laid before me was a bit of a hammer and chisel mechanic. The uh, the dial, the uh, the hand wheels were a little messed up. They're actually loose on here. I didn't really like that. I was able to find some replacement uh, hand wheels, and uh, I wanted to change out. Uh, this was a. I'm guessing this was a direct redial. It went from uh, 1 to 200. And, you know, when you have something that, that's uh, 1 to 200 there and you're trying to thread or you're trying to do, uh, I mean, unless you're feeding straight in, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of an algebra issue to, uh, or mathematical issue to figure out uh, how far you're putting the thread in and such. So I decided to swap this out with a... Uh, a 1 to 100 or 0 to 100 dial instead of the uh, 0 to 200 dial and then you know of course once I got involved with that I ended up taking this apart uh, I tried to do the Brad Jacob method on here you can see I polished it all up and it would look pretty nice if someone hadn't already grabbed it with a uh, pair of vice grips but I was able to clean out the uh, the cross free the cross feet screw. Uh, it was all greased up, and I cleaned it all, dipped it in uh, solvent, and ended up uh, you know using I'm using um, whey oil on my screws just so it sticks a little bit. Uh, a lot of stuff was missing. Uh, all these these little oil. Nuts were missing, so I replaced all those. Uh, I received my uh, push-in uh, wing push-in oilers here. I got them in. I mean, I'm, at some point, I'm going to take this lathe back apart again. But uh, but for now, it's I think it's pretty good the way it is. Uh, I at least at least want to get it in one piece. This way, I can move on to some more necessary projects. And not have parts for this laying all over the place. As you can see, I have the parts for the uh, taper attachment. They're laying in the back. I gotta put all that back together. So I just want to have it one piece for now. But I, at least I want it usable and working properly. So uh, I don't like to do things halfway and you know have it cheesed up. So um, I had changed the uh, way wipers on it. I, I found a lot of crud underneath the, uh, the apron, so I was able to clean all that. It was, it was, it was, there's quite a bit of uh, metal chips under there. I recommend you guys do that to your lathe uh, because it's, it's no way to function a machine like this, especially if you want to stay precision, if you want to keep your ways nice. You know, you, you, uh, you don't want to... Uh, that, that all that stuff laying on the ways there that's all oil and believe it or not that's uh lint from uh from my my buffing extravaganza that i just completed but they look pretty nice i think it's going to be cool when it's all done uh now it's just to put the uh the rest of the machine back together and i can start making some chips and working on some more uh necessary projects but I just wanted to give you a quick uh, follow up what I'm doing on a Saturday. It's uh, nice weather outside. I was able to go cut the grass this morning at my mom's house and help her out a little bit. And then I came over here and worked on my machine. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go home and uh, hang out with the kids and uh, maybe uh, grab some dinner with them. The missus is out at a baseball game today, so uh, I have the day to myself. So, in any case... 
Hope you guys are having fun in your workshop. Hope you're making something. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.